Hey all, Hiba here and uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sea of Conquest and this video here on uh, how to win trials. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the comments for the video, I will answer if I know the answer, otherwise I will, you know, direct you somewhere where you can find the answer. <laughs> so there are two kinds of people uh, who play trials, there are the ones who play just like it's shown now in the video who play manually and, uh, you know, play it at real-time speed and make all the decisions themselves. And uh, then there's people who play auto and just put it on double speed and let the computer do all the uh, calculations and fighting for you. Now, uh, I definitely belong in the auto camp because uh, if I have to be honest here and full disclosure, I don't really think that uh, these trials or this hand-to-hand -hand combat in general is really uh, implemented very well. Uh, it could be a lot better. Uh, I think there should be a little bit more, uh, you know, flexibility in this and that's why I just tend to put it on auto and just get it over with really because uh, it's not very interesting if you ask me. Uh, it is the weakest part of Sea of Conquest unfortunately and it should be pretty easy to fix up uh, just with, you know, uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, variability in the battles and a little bit more flexibility and uh, you know just a little bit more like uh, you know divinity or Baldur's gate 3 where you are turn-based but it's a little bit more uh, involved than uh, what is available now so uh, because i don't really enjoy playing trials that much i play the way i'll show you here and that's just full auto i press the auto button and i turn speed up to double speed and then I just sit back and uh, wait to see who wins, really. And uh, yes, sure, uh, you will lose some battles that you could actually have won had you played manually. But uh, the manual battles, especially the ones that come down to like a hair or something like that, they take a long time and uh, you could lose and then st have to start over again. So uh, to me, it's easy just to press the auto button three, four times. If I keep losing the same fight, I guess, okay, I need to be stronger then. So the idea of trials is of course to get three stars in every battle. So no defeat, uh, you know, no one dies and you win within four rounds. That will give you some very nice uh, rewards, including conks, a lot of conks actually. This is a very good way of getting conks. And uh, other than that, it's also a good way of, uh, you know, increasing your uh, compartment research time. So uh, this is my progress in season two here. And you can see I'm missing a lot of stars, but I have completed the chapters because that is important, that's the important thing for me, because uh, all I want to get out of this is uh, really XP. Now, of course, there are nice rewards, which you will, can get your hand on if you complete the, uh, you know, the trials with maximum stars, for example, 18 out of 21 here. And uh, that's not so important for me because I can always get these rewards and I'll show you how in this video here. So uh, instead of, you know, running against the wall all the time in season two, I've just gone back to season one with my totally overpowered season two heroes and uh, I've just breezed through the whole thing and uh, pretty much just uh, mopped the floor with the low level AI uh, adversaries you have in season one compared to your, you know, over leveled season two heroes. Because uh, as you can see here, fighting against uh, an AI kind of on your own level, which I assume is fair. Yes, true. But it does take a long time. You can get up into 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rounds. And uh, that's like five or six minutes of just sitting there, at least in my case, and looking at the fight. Now, if you're playing manually, this will take even longer because uh, you will not be playing on double speed then. Uh, and uh, you will have to think a little bit more and pause the action all the time. So uh, th this could be like a time consuming thing here. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game and I don't need more stuff to take up my time. So uh, <laughs> that's why I am trying to do this the easy way. So I don't care if a victory is just a victory. I don't get three stars, I only get one star because I can always come back and fix it up later. So uh, to just show you how easy this is, I've just gone back to season one and uh, down to, you know, chapter one of the low chapters that I haven't completed completely. And of course now my heroes are way <laughs> higher than they was when I actually did this the first time and I just, just scraped by. So you can see here like Tanaka can pretty much do it by himself. And uh, one trial, 
with three stars takes you know one round and one round is a few seconds because really only one perhaps two heroes need to move and uh, you've won and you can just breeze through the whole thing and uh, it saves you a lot of sitting there clicking and thinking and you know making sure you're going to win the fight you can just come back uh you know when you move to the next season upgrade your heroes even more come back and then totally wipe the floor with the opposition now of course if you absolutely must have every reward at the time you are doing this you will have to have three stars but that is quite difficult the first time you're doing this uh, especially if you get into you know uh, levels 10 11 12 13 14 15 uh, the uh, opponents get uh, very difficult and they're a lot higher level than you are. Uh, so, uh, you know, this way, at least for me, uh, it saves me a lot of stress and uh, it saves me a lot of time because <laughs> this game here already takes up a lot of my time and uh, anywhere I can save a little bit of time, uh, I will surely do that. So uh, if you didn't know, uh, then probably at least in my mind the most important thing about trials is that it uh, increases the rate of which you uh, earn uh, hero xp while you are afk while you are away from the game so uh, in other words that means you want to complete every trial you can get your hands on don't get me wrong you want to absolutely win but you don't necessarily have to win with two or three stars one star will do it uh, that means that your accumulation of AFK XP will still increase and uh, that's really all you want because that means you can upgrade your heroes quicker uh, and again that means that you can then take those upgraded heroes back in like a week or two and they easily get through those uh, trials that you may have missed uh, getting a three star on in the first round and uh, I mean it's up to you which way you approach this but uh, in my opinion I think this is l much less stressful and uh, just a lot easier than uh, having to deal with the uh, kind of random gameplay in here uh, once you are actually in the situation for the first time and your heroes are just at a level where they can maybe perhaps just scrape by right so uh, also again I need to underline that another good thing about trials is that you will earn a lot of conks that you can use to get heroes of course but you will also get a lot of construction speed up and of course this is insanely useful when you are upgrading your uh, flagship so uh, make sure you do trials uh, that's not what i'm saying here you have to do trials absolutely but uh, just do them one star you don't have to do any more than that and uh, you can always come back and then you know come back with the vengeance and you know like i said mop the floor with the opposition and get those three stars in one round or two seconds so i uh, hope you enjoyed it uh don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you out there